going back again, doing Day of Reckoning 2 story mode. Uh, Bischoff's getting ticked about uh, the missing world heavyweight title. And almost everybody um, is cleared except my character. So it's looking like my character had something to do with it, but he keeps denying it. So we'll have to wait and see. Chris Jericho says, hey, Wally, what are you doing out here? Don't you have a couple big matches tonight? You probably sh Got that right, Y2J, but the World Heavyweight title is around here somewhere, and Bischoff told me that if I didn't find it, he was going to fire me. I don't have a choice. I have to find the title tonight, or my match won't matter. Jericho says, fire you, huh? That's just typical. Okay, well, I've gotten, I've got nothing until later, so maybe you could use a little help? That'd be awesome. Thanks a lot, Chris. Jericho says, let's get to it. Have you checked over here yet? Uh-oh, here we go. What's this? Edge and Orton. Jericho says, what are you two Nimrods doing here? Edge says, oh, Randy and I are just taking care of a few loose ends. Oh, Spear! Spear and beat down on Wally. Jericho says, hey, stop. You guys can't do that to Wally. Without me getting a peek. What? What? Jericho says, well, that's that. Edge, did you take care of that little piece of business? Edge says, I sure did. I put it right where we discuss. All taken care of. Oh, you turds. Orton. All that's left is to take out this piece of trash. It says, yep. We just keep him on ice until the show's over. You know what they will say? What they say. I love when a plan comes together. Oh, man. They're going to cost him the Intercontinental title, and he's going to go down and get fired. Those turds. They were behind it the whole time. That's what it's looking like. That's what I got out of it. They definitely had something to do with it. It shows him in a locker room beating up. Here we go. Stacy. There you are. I can't believe you. Where were you? You were supposed to be at ringside with me for my match. You promised. But you didn't show. Well, he says, what? What happened to... Stacy says, I almost had Trish beat, but then she pulled, pushed the referee into me, and I and he got knocked out, if you can believe that. I pinned her, but there was no count. I was just, what? So he says, Then I was all ready to put her in a power bomb when Christian came in out of nowhere and tripped me. Trish fell right on top of me, and by that, by the time the ref was back and counted one, two, three, I lost. You could have. No, you should have been there to save me, but you weren't there. I lost because of you. I was just, Stacy, please, calm down. I can I can explain. So he says, explain what? You promised you'd be there, and you weren't. Simple as that. I can't believe that how little I mean to you. I don't know what to say. She says, says serious. Wally says, Stacy, seriously, wait, what time is it? Oh, no, if your match is over, what about? Bishop says, Wally, I thought I heard the, your voice. I have thought you'd I have thought you be long gone by now, but obviously you're even dumber than I thought you were. Wally says, Bischoff, what are you talking about? Those guys, save it, pal. I told you what would happen if you didn't find the title. And on top of that, you didn't even come out for your triple threat match tonight. Well, that's the last time you're going to ruin a pay-per-view for a Raw. Well, I said, look, Eric, be reasonable. Bishop says, I am being reasonable. I want my title belt. And almost as much as I want you out of here. You're suspended and I'm stripping you of the Intercontinental title. you got five minutes to clean out your locker. Well, Stacy, Eric, both of you, you got to listen to me. Look, I can explain. Uh-oh, there's the gold bar that they were looking for in the locker room. That's what they're referring to about the little piece of business, I reckon. Bishop says, is, is, is this what I think it is? It's the piece of the title belt that was missing in the photograph. I don't believe it. So he says, what are you talking about? Bishop, it was you the whole time, you lying piece of crap. You stole the title belt, and you brought it here tonight to blackmail me. So he says, wait, what? Is that true? I says, no, of course not. I mean, that is the piece of the belt, but I don't know how. So he says, you had the part of the belt in your locker? That means all along you lied to everyone. You lied to me. Bishop says, that's it. You're not suspended. You're fired. Where's the title? Well, says, I keep telling you, I don't know. These other guys, they... Bishop says, I'd call the cops, but this is only circumstantial evidence. In any case, your career on Raw is over. I'm... Bishop says, I'm leaving. I don't want to ever see you around a Raw arena again unless it's to bring my belt back. And don't count on a job even if you do. So he says, wait for me, Eric. Wally, I trusted you. And twice in an evening, I found out you betrayed that trust. I thought I meant more to you than that, but I guess I've been a fool all along. I don't even ever want to see you again, period. Well, I says, Stacy. 
Wow, getting dramatic here. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, Rocky. Rock is unlocked. And Unforgiven's unlocked. Ah, I wish I could have gotten more points, but you know, it is what it is. Well, guys, at least we have the Rock unlocked and have some new matches. I'm waiting to get Bret Hart and Andre the Giant. I think the only two other ones I don't have yet. I've got Stone Cold and Mankind already. And you get those without the story mode. Oh, man, don't even get any experience for that. Yikes. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Let's see what's going on in the next uh, episode. See if I want to go through with it or I want to take a break. I've got four or five episodes uploading right now. And I've got to put them on two to three other channels, bare minimum. So um, that's probably what I'll be doing today. Let's take a preview here. This one's called No Mercy, New Tag Part. Oh, going to SmackDown. New Tag Partner, No Mercy. Because it showed off screen that Teddy Long actually wanted